In 1991, a film called Silence of the Lambs was released, which featured minimal silence and very few lambs. That's right. So today for Sporting Hell, we're going to rewrite that script. Because as per usual, we're going to flip the new coin, and one of us is going to enjoy this delicious pizza. Well, the loser today will be seeing if he can stay silent when he joins Blues coach Pat Lamb on the golf course. Yeah, all right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Look forward to this. And the winner is... Oh, Pat. I, uh, I will. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, maybe a little bit more. It's right. That money came through. I transferred it last month. <laughs> <laughs> Kicks and the other one kicks and misses, bro. <laughs> hey. I've got the golden ticket. No, it's for the corporates, but I've only got the one, so we just keep it on the DL from there. No, you've got the golden ticket. I know, just, just run, bro. Run all the way home and don't stop till you get there. But I'll miss the catering, you know, the little triangle shaped sandwiches. Go! Oh, the old Willy Wonka gear, eh? Hey! Where are you going? We got the golden ticket! We got the golden ticket! Yeah, mate. Oh, Back out, will you? <laughs> oh. Hey, mate. What took you so long? Well, after the game, traffic was a real mission. You left me and went to the game. Yeah. Oh, and I found a corporate ticket on the road. Security guy tried to pull the old Willy Wonka joke, but pff, I didn't fall for that. Oh, man. The sandwiches. Oh, whoa. whoa. I can't believe you went without me. You didn't take me when you went and saw a fiddler on the roof. Waitakere Stadium. In Māori it means your car stereo has been stolen. And it's the site of today's Tui Sneak. Yeah. I thought you said the netball was a game played by lesbians and women on the TV. Yeah, I know. Hey, how are you? How you doing there? No, I want to go league. It's a big game. Which way are we going? Oh, that's the game. Oh, You know, Ben, I think getting hit by that car really affected me. You mean like brain damage? No, I mean, it got me thinking about all the bad things we've ever done. Uh-huh. Yeah. I've compiled a list. It's a long list. Bad things? Like what? Well, for starters, there was that music video we made. Guys, sorry. Ben, can you give the kitty fiddling a rest? Come on, man, he's almost got it. Yeah, that was bad. The kid with that violin was awful. And that's why I got hit by that car. It's karma, Ben. I've got to make up for all the bad things I've ever done. I'm just trying to be a better person. My name is Bill. Right. right. Hang on, hang on. Let's just recap on how many times you've got me with this. <laughs> this is I This is well unnecessary. You broke out your shackles. Yeah. Don't tease me, bro. Don't tease me. I'm in the mess. I got a piss out. <laughs> that is sweet revenge. Ah.
देखना वह You know what, Bill? I just had a great idea. I want to watch a movie. When I'm done with this, I'm going to hunt you and your mate down to fulfill a fantasy of my own. Owen? You there? Oh. Ow- What'd he say? He either wants to kill us or have a threesome. Well, either way, it's not that good. <sighs> Who are you calling now? Monty Beatham. Not all league players are into group sex. Number three on the list ran over former warrior Monty Beatham in his own car. This is Monty. Hey Monty, it's Bill here from Pulp Sport. Look mate, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for running you over. Mate, don't worry about it, I've made a full recovery. Oh, cool. I also wanted to say I'm sorry for filming you in the nude and putting it on YouTube. You made the full Monty. You didn't know? Huh. It's a clever name though, eh, you know? You and... And your name and movie. Oh, mate, your ass is dead. Yeah? Well, your ass has had over half a million hits. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a big rail. Right, you think you're a hit, man? You're on TV. So what all the TV people do. <laughs> you hit the ball ages ago. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> <laughs> He's been pretty quiet so far. So at this stage, I may have to do the soldier straw, oh. which has got something to do with Pat Lamb and a lamb pat, but whatever. Making people cross requires training. Cross training. And we're better to cross train than on a crossing. Because it's a genius. Right. And they we were washed up. The time starts when you get on the cross train, and the time stops when the cross person toots. Fastest time wins. It's nervous. Is he going to be game enough to do a bus first up? I bet he pussies out. Alright, he's going to do it. He's going to put me wrong. And... Tom starts. <laughs> so that's not counted. That's on the other side. Oh, that lady's not too heavy. Run, fat boy, run. That's good fitness. Yeah, he's got a two. Don't tell him the two. 50... Oh, it's not the clock. 57 seconds. Oh, my city, he looks cross. Yeah. They look pretty cross. I can beat that. And four, there we go. Hey, there we go. 15. Damn it. Thomas had just popped a Viagra and was on his way to the boxing gym to have his way with the punching bags. Looks like a gangbang's on the way, said Thomas. Oh, hang on, it's not really what I had in mind. All you men hit like girls, except for the girl who hits like a man. Oh! Oh, bother. Poor old Thomas. Alright, round two. And away he goes. Now it's backing up. He's going to hit you. He's encouraging me. <laughs> He's, encouraging He's not tooting. <laughs> Everyone encourages him to go. He's giving thumbs up to you. I can't keep this up. Yeah, there he goes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Let me find a little bit of hold up in the cross training because uh, we've actually made someone quite cross and there's a bit of an angry conversation. You just come around and the man. Are you allowed to stop traffic doing what you're doing? Well, it's a pedestrian crossing. I work in the film industry as a producer. Yeah. And this is the sort of thing that makes life hard for us, <laughs> to be honest. So when this goes to where, do you have anybody kind of, kind of like, do you get into trouble for that? No. He's not particularly happy. Public nuisance. Um, thinks we should get into a lot of trouble. Is that on? No. Turn it off. <laughs> Give me the tape. No. So he's particularly cross, so I guess as far as our training goes, we have succeeded. You want to be around for a while? Don't use that. 
made yourself a wee friend? I believe so. <laughs> it didn't seem very happy. No. I think you may have the best time, but if the uh, object of this segment was to make people cross, I win. Mm, yep. I'll give you that one. Thank you. Well done. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So explain this to me again. Well, Mr. Mus, as a once were warrior, we thought maybe you could talk to your boys and get them to take the hit off us. The boys being the Warriors League side. That's right, yeah. Three things. My name is Tim. Jake the Must was just a character I played. Two, I was in a movie called Once Were Warriors. I wasn't once a warrior. And three... What was three? I think the door was three. You sure? Because it kind of sounded like he had something else to say. You know how he said, and three, and then he paused, and then the door... Ah, oh, the door was three, yeah. <laughs> Turning. Time to go and find the main course, I believe. Uh, and of course, because we had pet lamb, let's go and find ourselves a lamb pet. Are we seriously doing this? Like, like, is this is this what we do for television now? I'm afraid so. What do we got, ladies? What's on the menu? Here's something over here. I think we want to find something just slightly bigger than those ones. Yeah, that looks about right. I got one. Cole, oh, she's off. One of our crews just left. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to stick it in my mouth. Oh, and then, un oh. Are you ready? I'm not ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, man, it's your cliffhanger ending. I mean, did I, didn't I? Oh, well, you can't end the series like that. Surely there's something else we can play. Oh, just this. No, oh, this. Thanks, Hamish. Tonight on MacGyver Betrayal. It'll be Mankies. All right, we go where we're heading. We've got uh, two days, I think, it's going for the belt. Let's do it. <sighs> The film B in production van. You may recognise it from the show. It's been on a fair few times this year. I don't feel too bad about turning on the boys, eh? But they do give me a lot of shit in the office, so... I appreciate you finally seeing the light and coming on board with me. <laughs> That's juvenile. Somewhere about here. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Not the club! Not the club! Ah! Hey, can you call Bill and Ben and tell them there's a couple of parcels here for them? That's a big room. <laughs> oh, what the... Well, what have we got here? This is not the way it works. Who are you blaming me for? Who would do anything like that? Yeah, you get a cam belt done? <laughs> oh, was that necessary? Who's the love? Who's the girl? The bad news is the keys are in the middle of the dirt. Oh, did I say the keys were in the dirt? I mean they're in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How does this come off? It doesn't. Are you serious? It doesn't do it. <laughs> this is not like post-its over a car. This is like... <laughs> I'm not sure if they left a space for the diesel thing either. Oh, you're fucking kidding. So we've got one thing to guess, and you <laughs> Choose your kilometres carefully. Oh, yeah, I broke your golf club too. <laughs> if there's another series, there'll be revenge, and none of you guys will be working on it. Love you. <laughs> you're a twerk, Grish. Look at this shit. It's awesome. 